Hey. Welcome to the space bar. Hold it down for the town when the bass drops. Got it as a mission, out this vision, about to take off. Do it for the humans, what we tell them when they say, what? Welcome to the space bar. Space bar. Hold it down for the space bar. Space bar. About to take off in a space bar. Space bar. No, we do it for the space bar. Space bar. Do it for the humans. No, I do it for the humans. Gotta keep it moving. <clears throat> Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Paley Invasion. This is another episode of Space Pod TV. Yeah. Hey. hey, we in the building with the one and only DC boy Q. Represent. That way, man. What's happening? Represent. That way, NT, man. I am DC boy Q, aka Q, aka the prettiest nigga in the city. Let's get it. Hey. Yeah. Bang. So what's popping, bro? What you been up to, man? Man, first of all, Pepe and the Alien, thank you for having me, bro. Man, we appreciate man, you, bro. I've been, I've been, I've been waiting to come up here for a minute. You yeah, feel me? I y'all feel been, you on y'all that been shit. doing y'all thing, and uh, it's just, yeah, I love the vibes, man. And I'ma say it right now. A lot of motherfuckers been saying it, but I'm saying it right now. Y'all like the Breakfast Club or the Fargo Moore area? <laughs> I swear to God, like this. If if you're a local rapper. Right now, and you really try and do your thing, man. You need to you need to stop here. This is the platform you Real really want to be on at at least at some point in your career. You feel me? Yeah, yeah sir. So thank you, sir. Man, absolutely. Hey, man. we respect absolutely. that, and we've been wanting to have you out here too, DC boy Q. Man, I see you at all these live shows. <laughs> I appreciate it, appreciate it, Braze. I appreciate that shit, bro. Appreciate yes, sir. It. I seen you at JCI busting the move for the ladies up on stage. Man, you now. was up in that bitch, <laughs> man. That shit was lit. Yeah, man, that JCI joint, it was, it, it was lit, and I, I shout out to people, you know. Motherfuckers let me on stage to do my thing one time. Mm -hmm. But man, it was lovely. I see you doing your thing, man. It's just, it was good vibes. Good vibes. Yeah, that's what we live for, man. The good vibes, man. Like, we really do. Like, you go, you go do a show, man. If all the right people are there, bro, that's just like a magical experience, bro. I swear. Yes, sir. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of shows, man, what was the last show you just did then? Let's see. Let me think. Mm, very last show that I did that was like really big was the Montana 300, man. Yup. Oh, shout out, man. shout out Montana. 300. Let's get yeah. into it. And it was uh, it was a blessing in a sense of like uh, it was my first big show. Okay. Uh, you know, shout out, you know, uh, like low cash that you know I start off with like a birthday bash and pickle parrot thing, yep. those things and that mm-hmm. nature. But uh, definitely with the Montana 300, I just saw opportunity. Mm-hmm. I saw like. Uh, Something for me to invest my own money into. Right. Um, yeah, you really went all out for I this. Just, I just went all out, man. Invest my own money. Because, I mean, if you want something, you got to invest in yourself at one oh, point in absolutely. life. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. And so I did it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I was like the second to the last of the local artists. Okay. And so I knew. I'm like, I got to set this mark. And this is no cap. Shout out to everybody else that performed, especially my homie Ray Ray from the O. You Shut know what up. I'm saying? But because I was, right. like, maybe two performances before Montana 300, like, we yeah. set that tone as far as, like, the best set of the night. Man. And I'm not just saying that because it's me. We really rocked that motherfucker. Right. And, and it was important for me to do so, being that it was my first show. Yep. It's like, th- I got to I gotta make a stamp because not only can I gain yes. fans from Montana 300, but anybody else that never heard of DC Boy Q would be like, oh, okay, I kind of fuck with what he's doing. Yeah, right. And it was lovely, man. I felt like a whole celebrity for the day. You feel me? Dude, that's <laughs> that that's night. the best shit right there. When you pull up and like people like treat you like you actually should be treated as an artist, you know Facts. what I'm saying? Like Yes sir. I'm not tr- I'm not trying to say that respect should be given, like obviously it should be earned, but at the same Facts. time, man, if you if you a music fan of Fargo, man, like you need to appreciate these artists more cuz they busting their ass. You can't believe you can't, to, you can't believe who's noticed. out here. Like the talent. That's why this show exists, man. And we For got real. dudes yeah. coming through talking about you remember this one, right? Get him, kill him. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, hey, yo, yeah. shout out, shout out my homegirl, low key sis, Brittany. You feel what I'm saying, man? She the, yes, uh, she did that. Ooh, get him, Q joint. It just oh, sounds so sexy. Don't you agree? You yeah, that me? shit sound good as hell. Yeah, something for the ladies, man. You know what I'm saying? One thing about my music. Well, I'm sorry. I'm no, you, you good. Question, keep keep got, going. Oh, no, yeah. you good, bro. Because <laughs> I was just going to say, you keep yeah. it smooth. Yeah, appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, Oh, we do too. DC Boy Q is his whole, like a whole nother personality. Right. You feel what I'm saying? It's crazy because yeah. my, uh, my sign is a Taurus. You know what I'm saying? We, yep. Yeah, we're a bit emotional and shit. You feel me? But it's like, it's weird because it's like, we, we like our own little space. And mm-hmm. so me doing shows, man, 
oh, man, my sh- when I first did shows, I was so nervous, but I'm getting better. Yeah. So it's like we don't really want the attention like that. Feel you. So me doing this shit, I had to create, I feel like, a whole nother person oh, for yeah. me to like for real. feel so comfortable to just be like, fuck it. This is what it is, raw, oh, in your real. face. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Cheers just to that. Is. Yeah, yo, shout out to homie Breeze with the double cup with me. Man, hell yeah. Hey, you feel me? Yeah, 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 sir. Yeah. Yeeties. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's crazy shit, though, because, like, there are some artists that, like, you'll see them, like, at a show. If they're not right. performing, they're just completely introvert, you know what I'm saying? Right, and that's the word I was like, saying, yeah. They're not out there, like, because, like, they see themselves as an artist, not as a fan sometimes. Oh, it's so crazy. You know, what I'm saying? You know like, the stage is where you unleash. Right. And it's not that you're a different person right. so much as it is, like, that's that's what you live for. So they really see you for who you are facts. when you're out there. Yeah, big facts, you big know? facts. I got off stage at JCI, and this one chick was like, you ain't, you don't really feel like you're feeling yourself. Because I was walking around in business mode. You know, I got my laptop, and, right. I, and, and I was like, wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> that ain't even my job to feel myself. Right. Now, come over here and take these pictures. There you yeah, go. Right. Yeah, that way. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. So even, I feel you. Yeah, yeah. So, man, it's just been... It's been a lovely ride, man. It's just mm-hmm. only going to get better. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm blessed to be on this oh, show yes. because I just got so much stuff in the works that I really want motherfuckers to know. You feel me? Yeah, bro. Lay it on them, man. Let them know what they can expect in the future from the one and only DC boy Q. Real talk. Like that. Shit, as far as future-wise, man, sheesh. All right, what I, what can I start? Future-wise, like, uh, okay, I did a, uh, well, I'll tell you what, if you don't mind, bro, mm-hmm. before I talk about yeah, the future, can I, can I speak a little bit, like, on some past shit? Man, hell yeah, bro. Where I'm, where yeah, I'm let's build right. into it like a timeline. I right, appreciate it. Okay, so, first of all, like I said, my name is DC Boy Q, you know what I'm saying, a.k.a. Q in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Respect. Um, shit, born in Washington, D.C., yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I yeah. was born in Washington, D.C., Northeast. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> so. me, shout out my dukes, you know, single oh. parent type shit. Yes, sir. She okay. um, couldn't really take care of me the first, like, um, you know, a small portion of my life. Right. I say for about four or five years. Okay. And so I lived, uh, I moved to South Carolina for a minute. I stayed down in the Carolinas for a minute. Then I moved. Let's see. Yeah, sir. South Cacalac is what the Southern people call it. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so, uh, yeah. And then I moved back to D.C., or whatever, and then my mom married my step pops, who's military. Okay, you feel me? He was in the Air Force, yeah. so we lived in uh, D.C., Maryland, and okay. Virginia. Shout out to DMV. That's why they, you know, call it the DMV, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Hey, and hey. then, um, then I moved shit part of maybe like two, three years. I stayed in Anchorage, Alaska. Oh my God, Can I got family that? up in that bitch. Wait a minute, what? Did, what did you? What did <laughs> right, you do right. In Anchorage. Anchorage, a black person in Anchorage. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. See, like I said, it's more than meets mm-hmm. the eye. So I gotta let motherfuckers know these things. You right. know what I'm saying? That's what my step pops got stationed to. Yep. I remember whenever. Yep. Uh, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. We left from. Um, we was in Maryland at the time, and he got his orders to go. Mm-hmm. Yo, I was like in what middle school? Right. I'm balling. A young. I buck. cried like a motherfucker. Motherfuckers like, bro, you know when you go in that bit, you gonna be, you gotta ride a sled to it, uh, oh a, a sled to go to school, <laughs> yeah. and you gonna be living in igloos. And as a kid, you believe dumb shit yeah, like that. Right, right, There's gonna be dogs, like, right? That, oh, dog sleds, you man, know. Yeah. Oh baby, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just yeah. what it was, you know what I'm saying? And I, I finished like most of my high school uh, career, whatever the fuck you wanna call it, in mm-hmm. and, 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 and Anchorage. I love. That. And uh, shout Started out to uh, shout out to the homie uh, Mario Chalmers. I actually went to school with him. I don't know if y'all know who hey, he is. He played hey. for the Heat for a while now. I think he's still with, he's with the Memphis Grizzlies. Oh, okay. Chalmers, but, yeah, yeah, that yeah, sounds yeah. familiar. And, and so, so yeah, you know. And then after that, shit, I moved to uh, Florida for a little bit. Oh, shout um, out! Yeah, uh, I got fam down there. You do. Yes, sir. Well, Orlando pops. and Fort Myers. Okay, okay. My pops exactly graduated in Fort Myers. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, my pops was in um, you. Cocoa. You oh, know what I'm saying? That's Cocoa, beautiful. Cocoa Beach. God, I got to get out there. Merritt Island. Probably 30 minutes from Orlando. So you okay. travel, though, man. man God, I'm a traveler, damn. baby. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, so yeah, fast forward and boo. And it's just like me, just uh, I decided to. Um, back when you know, I did like maybe like a year and a half of college. Mm-hmm. You feel what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Not really want to know, Hell not really yeah. knowing what I want to do with my life. Right. And then uh, from education that, is so key. Whether education it be in is life, key. Or school or whatever. Oh God! But it's just like after that year and a half, it's like you run out of money. I was oh, paying yeah, money out real. of pocket. You <laughs> feel me? You're not playing. Right. Because one even, thing Sally Mae don't want is these hands. Right. right? Come on now. You That's that loan. Known. Big so facts. I feel you. I ain't trying to have no. I ain't trying to be in debt like that for no, no schooling. For real, you feel me? Bro. So for with real. that, I decided to. Uh, I decided to do the whole school thing, mm-hmm. and then I'm like, okay, what's next? And, you know, my people's, you know, meaning my parents was, like, really trying to push, like, you know, 
military like that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm like, I ain't doing no Yeah, military. no doubt. Right. Right. Fuck, if him. Right. And so then I said, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I ran out of money, so I decided to do it. Mm -hmm. And so I got picked up. You know what I'm saying? I was, was in the, the military. Force. Yeah, the I was Force. in the Air Force. I was stationed in Why Not My Not. Hey, <laughs> bro. Motherfucking yeah. My Not Air Force hey. Base. Listen, listen, respect, yeah. man. Like, goddamn. Yeah. I was born on the Grand Forks Air Force Base. Mm. So, you know, that, them things, they really put people around, like, your whole story is amazing. Appreciate it. It's crazy. Yeah, I appreciate it. So, so I, I did my four years there. You know what I'm saying? I did, like, the oil field for probably about a year. Then I moved up yeah. here. I've been in Fargo, North Dakota for about, about what, five years? Hey, I people under, right. underestimate Fargo, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, what's they, really they, out here. They really do. Fargo is, it has major opportunity. Out oh, here. my God, yeah. It's so real. much. It's like. It's a gold mine if you know what you're really doing. It really is. It really is. You know what I'm saying? And I, I wanted to move up here because I didn't want to be too far from my son. Yeah. I had a son back when I was, like, in the mm. military. Right. In Canada, of all places. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, Canada is a hidden motherfucking secret, man. If y'all ain't never been to Canada, you need to go to motherfuckers. Yo, that reminds party. me of that movie, Fubar. When they I've went up in there and worked on the... Uh, Pipelines or whatever, mm -hmm. they made bank, but they just blew it on some dumb shit. <laughs> right, <laughs> shit was hilarious. Sounds sounds about right. I yeah, mean, cause right. I blew my money on dumb shit when I was in the oil field. Yeah, I feel you. Bro. Can't remember what the check looked like. No, as soon as I got it, real. boom, it's gone. Yeah, right. <laughs> I feel you on that shit. But yeah, they know how to party, and that's beautiful women. You know what I'm saying? Yep. My baby mama. Hey. You know, she fine as hell, just crazy as fuck. You feel me? Yeah, I feel that's you how that. it goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah and so. that's cool. She now you got a you got a son. I do. My son, his name is Jaden. You know what I'm saying? He's six years old. That's who you see around That's my neck. Up. This is like my guardian angel. Man, you know respect. What I'm yeah, I seen that. I love the hell out of this little boy. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Unfortunately, I can't. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really imparted. A part of his life, life like I want to right. because of my BM. That's yeah. a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story. You feel what I'm And so, yeah. with that being said, yo, shout yeah. out to the mothers that allow their sons to see, or sons or daughters to see the the, the, the father of their child. Or hey, their yeah. kid. And, you know, and a big fuck you to the bitches out there that don't, you know, allow that's, a, that's good, a good father. Yeah. Not just a father, yeah, not just right. a sperm donor, but a good father that want to be in their child life. life. And don't allow them to uh, to 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 see their kid like yeah, that. Yeah, I feel you. I know some ladies yeah. that will Family fully agree so with you. Yeah, and it's like that the legal system so fucked up too, oh, bro. Yeah. Because I'm dealing with a whole nother country. Right. So it's not like I can just pick a lawyer from up here and be like, okay, let's go fight this. Oh, you yeah, saying right. Canada? Yeah, they yeah, don't even want that French facts, yeah, French influence. They don't even want to touch it unless you got a Canadian lawyer. Mm -hmm. And they want racks just to stop, just to talk to them. Oh yeah, for so real. like I said, a whole nother story. But shout out to my son, man. He the apple of my eye, the love of my motherfucking life. You know what it is, man. man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, I like that. And then we gonna uh, get back to the music. You know what I'm saying? Oh That's yeah, what I'm saying. I guess I gotta finish answering the question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, that no. shit happened, bro. People just go off, yeah. man, and they just catch a vibe and they just ride that shit. Ain't yeah. nothing wrong with that shit. You feel yeah. me? Especially when it comes to the family vibe, because that's really what we around here to do. Right. That's what it's all. We about. We gotta be a family yeah. musically. To be successful around here. Big facts. That's what, I mean, that's that's really what it's all about at the end of the day. But you know what I'm saying? But like you said, getting back to the music, man. When it came to oh, the music, good. when it came to the music situation, I've always freestyled and shit. Mm -hmm. When I was probably like in middle school, high school, just on some playing around. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. Motherfuckers getting cypher and just start doing this shit. Yeah. When I was in my night. Uh, oh, snaps. You yeah. remember snaps? Like, oh, people yeah. be capping it up on lunch break and shit. Oh, baby, yeah, I remember that shit, oh, man. Shit. Or just beating on the wall and yeah, shit. You know what I'm you saying? Know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the, uh, the clips <laughs> come <laughs> on, bro. <laughs> that would be on the Yo. desk of the school. You'd be just oh, there. Because it was like the most easiest beat to do. Oh, and man, I was making beats with a pencil in my fist, too. I remember that shit. Yeah, that's some pimp shit. Yeah. Straight pimp shit. And so, you know, it was just me just playing around, really. You feel me? And mm -hmm. then um, mm -hmm. when I was in my night, I linked up with a, uh, a, a clique of dudes that got me in the studio for the first time. Shout out my homie RJ. Uh, hey, my homie shout Trey out RJ. Trey P. Yeah, uh, Bebo's, what we called them. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. me, we call ourselves NBC. I remember that shit. Okay, no yeah. Nothing but cash. Hey. <laughs> NBC represented. <laughs> yeah, it's NBC for life, man. You know what I'm saying? That's where um, it all starts. That's where it all starts. And those you got guys. The build. 
you big know. facts. You gotta be, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah, right, right, I'm right, saying? right, for real. And with those guys, man, like I appreciate them to the, to this day because they they saw potential and wanted me to get in the studio. Right. Whether we were just having fun, they just saw something in me and be like, bro, just do the shit. That's how it works. You know what I'm saying? Somebody will see something in you that you don't see in yourself sometimes. Big facts, and 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 that's what it's about. Like you know, and each one of them dudes still doing their thing except for you know one like RJ. He moved out to Cali okay, to pursue yeah. more of his music career. Right. Because he's more of a bigger scene out there. Even though he's from like the Atlanta era uh, area originally, right. he decided to go to California. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I met him while I was in the military in my night. And so shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hope you see this. Well, you know, oh, he gonna see he it. Gonna see it. And you gonna and he, see and he that doing shit. this thing. He making some big moves. I th- last time I heard, bro got his own sneaker. Damn, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Got his own sneaker, so it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? The homie Bebo, Bebo, he from uh, where you from? He from uh, not Memphis. Uh, but ooh, the South, he gonna, yeah, the South. Damn, he gonna kill me for not knowing what. No, Jackson, Mississippi. That's where he from. Hey, and oh, hey. Once Shout again, out Jackson. we linked while we was in the military, but I think he's still doing his music thing. And unfortunately, Trey P, man, he caught a, a murder charge. You feel oh, what damn. I'm saying? Out in Atlanta. And damn. so, keep your head up, bro. I still, I don't believe he was the shooter or nothing, but just caught up in some wrong place yeah. at the wrong time. I feel you on that so, shit. So, mm-hmm. whenever I do talk to the homies or whatever, I always say free Trey P. Man, and so, you got to. yeah, you yeah, got to. and so that's what we was doing, man. We was just doing our shit out there, and then when I moved to Fargo, I was just chilling. Yeah. I was just chilling, not really thinking about music, really. And then I uh, linked up with Low Cash. Yeah, I feel like everybody has went through Low Cash at one point. Seen you know there was saying? a studio. Yeah. yeah, you know, big facts. So shout out Low Cash Productions. Shout man. out Low Cash. And I did. I remember. Hey. I, I remember I did one song with him. I can't remember what it was because I did one verse and didn't come back. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> like I was really just playing with it. I did one verse and didn't come back for yeah. like a good year or two. Every time you see me, hey oh, bro, wow. you gonna finish up that song? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Yeah, he'll right? be on you. Like, <laughs> yeah. like you gonna mix you gonna miss this next mixtape. Facts. That, you know. Big facts. And then this past um and so yeah, this past year. I was talking to the homie Loco Baby, man. You know what yep. I'm saying? Loco. Hey, shout out Loco. And we were sitting at my table and we had a conversation. We was like, he was he was telling me, he was like, bro, I really, I think I might start doing this music shit. Mm-hmm. And I said, well, shit, yeah. bro, you know, that's what's up. I said, I think I might fuck around with it too. You know right. what I'm saying? And I remember us first doing our, <clears throat> uh, uh, he, he had a session before I went, but we went. You know, kind of like started this shit together in a sense. Yeah. You know, but since then he done did crazy. He got crazy mixtapes out and shit. Oh yeah, he got mad shit out. And so you know, shout out to him. Shout out on Q Records. Yeah. But with me, you know what I'm saying? It's like uh, I remember the first thing I did was like a back to back. Okay. Yeah. And oh yeah, yeah, like a double. Uh, Wu Tang did that too. When right. They dropped a double song, so you flip the LP, you get both songs. Big facts. Yeah, that's that's true. And so I just wanted to stand out. I felt mm-hmm. like no one's really did like. At least up here, mm-hmm. locally, right. I've done like a back to back to where they take a you know take an instrumental and then come back with another instrumental, mm-hmm. and so I did a few of those. And I right. my first visual, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Crazy Flow, he hey. came out and did the shit for me for my for a promo. Shout out! And I was just having so much fun with it, and so I just I was doing those. Then I'll release you know a few tracks or whatever. Mm-hmm. And long story short, sorry I'm a little long winded, but no, long story short, <laughs> it's like I uh, I came out with a. My first, like, uh, what do you call it? My first uh, mixtape or whatever you want to call it. Mixtape, EP. EP, whatever. Uh, yeah, something like that. January of this year. Okay. So with me, my work ethic is more or less, it's it's slower than others. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But I believe in producing good music. Classic. Quality music. Right. You feel me? Classics. And, and, and you know, the first mixtape is called Watch Out. It is on SoundCloud right now. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't heavily, like, promoted mm-hmm. because... It's my first time. I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, right. I didn't, I didn't trying know. trying to figure that shit out still. I'm trying to figure it out. I right. didn't know about certain websites you can go to to get on major or whatever. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So I just gave it to people on SoundCloud. People yep. that know about it, know about it. People that don't, go find out. Because mm-hmm. it is on my um, my fan page as well. You okay, know what I'm saying? Yeah. On Facebook. So I did that, and I believe it's still, like, it's a classic piece of work. And Y'all so, need to get familiar. Go I ahead mean, and get familiar. Real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It is on Get him, kid. It is on Facebook, you know what I'm saying? DCB. Man, that tag alone will make you famous. Double I. <laughs> <laughs> QUE, if you look on Facebook, go on there and you can listen to the Watch Out mixtape. Yeah, Since then, yeah. it's been features upon features. And yeah, that's, I got a little surprise smart. coming up. Yeah, collaboration. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. That way, NC, man. Hey. You know what the fuck it is, you bitch, you. Yeah. <laughs> I feel yeah, you bitch. On that shit. We cheers in the net. Bitch. Yeah.
Big facts. Yo, hey, uh, you should let the people know what's what's the name of uh, like your mixtapes or is there any songs, your visuals that you want to like showcase. You know? All right, let's see here. Like I said, the first mixtape was uh, Watch Out. It was called Watch Out. I just feel mm -hmm. like it's just Watch, watch out. out for me. You yeah, feel right, what I'm saying? Right, right. I, I don't know. Yeah. And But that does feature like one of the, the, the single, the main single that was off of the mixtape, mm -hmm. which was called Watch Out. Right, okay. Uh, watch out, little bitch. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. I'm ice out, little bitch. Huh. I flooded uh. my wrist. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, it's cold as a bitch. 24 carats on the AP, huh? All clear diamonds, no HD, huh? Hey. Frozen's bitch like AC. I keep a 40 on me, don't play me, yeah, huh? You know what I'm saying? So that's yeah, just what yeah. it is. And I kind of like yeah, took that man. off of, uh, you remember uh, 2 Chains? Watch out, little bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I did that kind of same cadence, but I, I made it my own. You okay, feel me? Yeah. So I ain't no jacker. You know, I make my shit, you know, I make it better. You feel me? I feel you on but, that. Uh, you definitely got your own style. Thank you. I appreciate it. No, that, so, that's just real. That was with Watch Out. Then after that, it's just been features you know what i'm saying I, I was blessed to be you know to do features with uh some of the homies you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying like local baby like yep. skrilla main yeah like trenches okay. yep. you know what i'm saying like crazy flow like blizzy north mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like we had a nice little squad the six of us of yeah. just putting out we got man we got so songs much. that people haven't even heard yet Oh, that's the best me? shit right there. But I just, I love doing music with those guys. And right. uh, unfortunately, you know, it seems like lately people is, you know, kind of went our separate ways. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That so, happens when you, like, the thing is, like, when you focus in on your career, mm -hmm. you only got so much time in the day. Fact. And so maybe they trying to develop a sound. But right. I love that you're doing the features. I'm like, tell, we was talking earlier, you're going to Andre 3 stacks your way up in this bitch, man. Yes, sir. Because like, <laughs> yes, he got so many features. Now, you got that one with Blizzy. We just had Blizzy on. Uh, what was the name of that track? Yo, shout out Blizzy and, and Cash Fam. You feel what I'm saying? Um, well, actually, <clears throat> excuse me, our, that main track was uh, Bird Bitch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. Got to play that shit mm, real quick. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, that Bird Bitch go too bird hard, bitch. though. I mean, they really ain't ready for this. Nah, they ain't. It go, it go stupid hard. It does. And I just did it on some playful shit. For real. Yeah, use a bird, bitch. I always tripping on my nerves, bitch. Stay on my nerves, bitch. Hey. Bitch, you trash by that curb, bitch. Leave by that curb, bitch. Yeah. I'm a Hit and then I swear, bitch, cause you's a bird, bitch. Space Pie TV. Yeah. Bird, bird, bitch. Mm -hmm. Holding it down. So I just, it's a playful track, but yeah. it's catchy as fuck. Yeah, it is, for real. I even got certain, some females that love this shit. You got that you know motherfucking bird in the background making that shit real authentic. Oh, baby. And so the homie Blizzy North blessed that track, man. That and many more. Mm -hmm. And since we talking about mixtapes and stuff, and I know that it's going to be aired at a later date, and so when people come out, we probably gonna already have yeah. some visuals and uh, visuals yep. and have the the word already out there, but the next mixtape, what you EP, got? What or you whatever got? you want, what you got? Y'all ready for this? Yeah, drum roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be with the homie himself, Blizzy North. It's gonna be a Cash Fam that hey. way Ant collab. We man, already, yeah. man, it's already it's um, laid out. It's laid out. It's ready, bro. We already six songs in. Damn. You feel what I'm saying? But I only brought two for you. Well, I brought the bird bitch, and then mm. I brought another one for you that's going to be exclusive called Ask, Ask Me. Okay. And, yeah. uh, man, I love working with bro. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Because, like I said, the squad that I was working with, like I said, we really ain't, you know, people were going their separate ways. Yeah. And one thing about bro is when I seen him, uh, when I first met him, excuse me, I told him and uh, Sutan, I'm like, mm. bro. They was the only two at the time that I seen was doing their thing up here. Right. And I was telling them, like, bro, y'all really doing y'all thing. And I just always gave that love and support. I do that mm -hmm. with anybody. Same right. with you, Payton. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm for saying? real, like, you do. I just recognized that. And I'm like, bro, I hope for the best for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. And they was, like, really pushing me, like, because they heard me freestyle. Like, bro, get your ass in the stew, bro. You yeah, know what I'm right, saying? right. And so when I was trying to sit here and trying to figure things out, you know what I'm saying? Because I felt like the squad I was with, we really wasn't meshing like that. Mm -hmm. um, he came over one day, and I remember he brought the whole studio to my crib. Damn. I'm like, all right, bet. And if it, it was just three days of just work. I'm like, yeah. bro, okay, how you feel if we just give the people like a mixtape? Because mind you, mm. I guess Blizzy ain't never came out with official mixtape yet. Oh, yeah. I didn't shit. even know that. And so nah, I said, me neither, bro, bro, let's give something for the people. You know right. what I'm saying? And that's what we're doing right now. So you heard it here first on Space Pod. Yo, you exclusive. Know, it exclusive. <laughs> Cash Man, coming. That way, right ENT, now. and we got some bangers. I'm talking about this shit is going to be, it's going to be so good. It ain't going to be no ready. skip. Mm -hmm. Every song is going to be a banger. So it only going to be a probably be like seven to ten, 
maybe 10 to 12 songs at the most. Okay, yeah. Nothing too crazy. Maybe I say about good 10, mm -hmm. maybe. But I don't know yet. We'll see. But it's coming. And that I, way. Damn, bro. That way. Speaking that of shit, that way. That I know this going to be on there. Yeah, ask me. Right around the bench with your girl trying to figure out how many holes we can stuff in the back seat. Yeah. Got them all on my bed, make all yeah. give me head by the run through these holes like a track. Let's go. They ask me. Freak. My style is unique. Shorty trying to see if I'm I told her. Yeah. Ask, ask me. Bitch, ask, ask me. What? Bitch, ask me. Bitch, ask me. Yeah. Right around the bench with your girl trying yeah, to figure out how many holes. Yeah, we going to vibe on that for a minute, y'all. Yeah. For a minute. Got to hear how Blizzy come in one time. Like a yeah, feel you. Yeah, he just pop out in the door right there. He just start rapping. I'm looking too, like, where you at? Oh, yeah, he just bowled up. Blizzy, what up? Oh shit, that's your boy right there. Yeah, that's Blizzy North. Shout out Blizzy North and Cash Fam. Um, you know what I'm saying? Entertainment, man. I just, I mesh so well with bro. You know yeah, right, right. Like, for example, um, Let's like uh like you heard of the baby, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. He hot right now. Right, and stunner for Vegas. Like I've been on the baby for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I'm a, I'm gonna set the record straight too. Like the baby is like a second cousin of mine. No yeah. cap. You really? feel what I'm saying? Like he, within the with, within the family, he is like we yeah. are related in a sense. He right. got married into or whatever. So not really related. He's married in, right? Yeah. And so Close I've enough. been right close enough, so I've been putting people on the baby. Mm -hmm. If you really follow my Facebook years back, I'm like, yo, watch out for cuz. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And now he blowing up and everybody on this dick. So now I don't even be saying shit. Yep. Like I don't say nothing no more because ah, Q, he just trying to whoop because he famous. He like he big now. Yeah, right, right. But anyways, you know, shout out to baby man, billion dollar baby entertainment man. Damn, that's why. Oh, I, I did not know that. that shit. That's why I hope to be on at one point. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you like, gonna be there? Man. But you gonna uh, be there? But like him shout and Stunner, out the baby. Yeah, shout out the baby. But um, with him and Stunner for Vegas, you know what I'm saying? How they mesh well on songs, mm. I feel like I get that same vibe with Bro. And I mean, yeah, Blizzard North. Like, we just feed off each other. Yeah. So I can't wait for this mixtape, man. Just watch out for it one time. You need. Yeah, Damn, yeah, bro. And a little bit of behind the scenes of like the creative process. Now, Blizzy's a writer. And you a freestyler, right? Like, facts. you a free writer. That's the big facts, big facts. Yeah. Okay, so I, people love knowing about that. Like, how does that work? Um, well, for me, oh, you talking about just uh, as far as us two together? Yeah, like vibing and um, like everything. It, it's, it's good. You feel what I'm saying? Because, okay, when it comes to me, Blizzy, Blizzy got patience. Because mm -hmm. not only does Blizzy <laughs> yeah. rap, he also can do the engineering and, you know, the mixing and stuff. Right. One thing I wish to get good at is that portion of it. Me, I'm just like, all right, bro, hit record. Let me start doing my thing. Yeah, right, right. I'm not really electronically mm -hmm. inclined as far as how to do all that yet. But anyways, um, he's patient because because I don't. Um, That's what, what it takes. It. It, it does. It takes patience. And because I don't, uh, what you call it, I don't write or whatever, yeah. I'm more of a what you call the punch in rapper. You Yo, know, Wayne okay. does it. A few other people yeah, do it. Yeah, punch in, punch out, a couple bars here and there. Yeah. All right, bro. Wayne uh, made a whole in. career. Because exactly. you're thinking about it in the moment. Like, yeah. th there's nothing wrong with any of this. Like, some mm -hmm. people, like, if you're writing, that's dope. If you, It's free verse. These really are all different writing styles, man. Like, right. Music has no uh, definite form, you know what I'm saying? Nah, Everything is not music, at all. man. And Everything I feel like moving. it's it's more original. Like it, yeah. it, it sounds, I don't, I don't know. It's just more or, like organic when mm -hmm. you, when it when it happens like that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's why I yeah, think. I feel you. Until I get a nice little writing, way, a way or a style to write down stuff. Right. I think this is the way I want to do it. Mm -hmm. And with Blizzy, like I say, he's patient with me, and then he goes and he does his thing. Mm -hmm. But lately, with me, I've been noticing he kind of just he been kind of freestyling. Because, oh, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? In a sense it's of like. It's funny how that works. Right, because he feeds off me and he's like, all right, I think I got something. We, you know yeah, we do that too. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Paleon didn't freestyle much. Now he freestyling all the time. Hey, see, yeah. Shout out. Yeah. yeah. Cheers to that. So, yeah. real, so, bro. it's all love. Mm -hmm. I like that, though. You know, and you yeah. working together and making these tracks. Man, I cannot wait to hear. Hey, did you say the name of that that's coming? That, that new mixtape with Blizzy. Like, Actually, oh, like can, I said, can you not say that? No, yet? no, I, we don't even know yet. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Like like I said, it's just something we talked about probably like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, I know that it's going to be something coming out. I know we're going to have uh, some visuals uh, this month. Like Bird Bitch is a visual that we're going to have to have like soon. Hey, yeah. Only right, because, right. only because... We talked about it like months ago, and mm -hmm. people been waiting on the visual, and we just been slacking on it. You oh feel my me? god, yeah. Absolutely. And like I said, the song is catchy, and then there's people that don't really haven't really heard the song but want to yeah. hear it, and so I feel like a nice visual will be dope. Oh hell yeah! And bro. then after that, we're gonna come out with "Ask Me" and some more shit. And so I'm thinking, as far as the release date of the mixtape, would probably be December range. 
okay, that's why yeah. I'm telling you now because I know it's going to be. It's going to be yeah. right around the time this shit drop. Yeah, yeah. I so feel you. that's what it is, man. And then as soon as I, you know, know the name of it, shit, you'll know. But as of right now, we don't know it's nameless. Damn, bro. Hey, hey, quick question for you, man. Uh, what up, G? Hey, how important do you think visuals are? You know, because <laughs> could you just get on Spotify or do you need that visual at this point in the industry? I feel like it's, it's very important. Um, okay. I like doing visuals more than I like doing shows. And that's no disrespect. No, it's, it's like just, a movie, though. Right, it's like a movie. And plus, I, I feel like people just really get to, like, it's it's like, like you said, it's like a movie. People get to just see you more yeah. and understand, like, okay, it's one thing to hear the song, but it's another thing to be like, yo, oh, this is what he look like. Okay, you, you can, mm. you can, you, not only that, but you can input, like, Make it a storyline or anything, just yeah, like people, like you said, a real movie. People want to see like how you appear in a professional setting. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, how would this guy look on a movie screen type thing? That's why people like music videos, because then you can really express your creative energy. Big facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I love it. I love being in front of the camera. And oh, it's weird because like you yeah. said, I'm more introverted. Right. How you say it? Introverted? Introvert, yeah. Introverted. Introverted a little yeah. bit. So it's like, but when I but you put that camera on me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shay, it's game you know time. Saying? It's just game time. <laughs> yeah, and it's right. and it's just like a switch. One minute yeah. I'm just like this, next minute it's like, you know, gang, gang, whole lot of gang shit. You know what the fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Slap your baby daddy up one time. You yeah. know, you know what I'm saying? That's part <laughs> yeah. my shit. You feel me? But nah, it just it's all in good fun. You know what I'm saying? Like one thing about me, yeah, when I was in DC, yeah, it was rough. Mm, you feel what right. I'm saying? At one one point it was called the murder capital. Yeah. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? More so yeah. than the shot. More exactly. This is and he right. This mm-hmm. is before you know uh Chirac got started. Oh, oh yeah, you know right, what I'm right. saying? It was Washington, DC. That mm-hmm. was crazy, crazy. And so with that and like me yeah. moving around and being in the military, I done I done seen both sides. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I, I've been hood. You feel what I'm saying? But I also lived in suburbs before. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? You know, between East Coast and South, it just makes makes me who I am. Like I'm a I'm such a calm, cool, and collected type of mm-hmm. dude until you feel what I'm saying? Because, yeah, don't test them. Yeah, you know, bro, like, there's always that that switch, you yeah, know. Exactly. But we all got right. that. Like we, if you yeah. fuck with our family or something like that, like yeah, we, we all do what we got to do. Yeah, and that's that's just always going to be in me. I don't know if it's just me as a person or me. Or, I don't believe in like zodiac signs like that, like that. Yeah, I feel I you on that. Right. I'm like, yeah, whatever. But you know, at right. the same time, there's some traits mm-hmm. that that Excuse makes me. sense. Yeah, big facts. So I don't know what it is, man. I'm I'm really calm, cool, and collected. But I'm I one thing about me is respect is. So big and so important. To oh me. yeah, for real. And I die by that shit. You feel for me? Real. Yeah, loyalty, me, respect, big facts. honesty. And me know. getting older is like, I pick and choose my battles yeah. in a sense. You know what I'm saying? When I'm on that brown liquor, you never know in what you're gonna get with me. In a, <laughs> sense. in a sense, you know what I'm saying? But I'm about in all that. In a sense, I ain't innocent. Yeah. You feel me? But at the same time, I'm about all that. I'm yeah, about right. you know what I'm saying. I'm about talking to you as a man. Right. But if I feel like you ain't intelligent, intelligent enough for me to talk to you like a man, mm. it's nothing you can and do. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, you right. feel me? And then if you want to go carry it elsewhere, okay, let's do it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We can do that. You know, I've mm-hmm. been in situations to where I've been in a shootout before. I I've been in fights. Feel you. you feel what I'm saying? I can do all that, but me being older, I'm I'm more I'm positive, man. Yeah. With my you. music with my music is like, man, I just like I just and you can hear it in my music. I talk about whatever. I'ma talk about getting money, uh flashy codes, yeah. chains. Mm-hmm. Fucking your bitch, mm-hmm. giving yeah. her back to you, fucking her again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she keep like, calling me right, back. just dumb yeah, shit. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? But I feel like with music, it don't always gotta be shoot 'em up, bang bang. Right, right, yeah. right. No, well rounded. Well, you know, you want to cover all the topics because right. there's more to life. There's so much more to life. Big facts. I just want to have fun with this shit. Man, yeah. hell yeah, bro. Hey, hey, man. We really appreciate you coming on Space Pod and telling your story because half that shit I did not even know, man. So exactly, mad respect, bro. Mad respect, <laughs> yeah, man. Sir. And you know what? You, know. you know what's up, man. I hate what's you. Up? I hate you freestyle too. I do a little something. I what? do a little something, man. Let's see. Let me let me take one big gold. Get this liquor courage on. Yeah, cause you know we coming in hot. We coming in real right. hot. We what you got for me? We just gonna let it ride. All right. Cause I hear you ain't a player, but you fuck a lot. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, something like that. You know, word on the street, man. It's you know what the fuck the going good. on, man. But good. real talk, I ain't always like that. You feel me? Shout out to the pretty ladies. You know what I'm saying? Hey. You know what the fuck going on? Okay, it's that way. You bitch, you. Let's get it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. DC Look. boy, kill. Uh, Look, I ain't a player, but I fuck a lot Just got here in the parking lot <laughs> Don't give a fuck if it's dark or not hey. I just do my damn thing with my own swing <laughs> And I don't give a fuck if you gang bang <laughs> Shawty, what's your name? My yeah. name is Q, baby You know what it is and what it do, baby Okay, I beat that pussy up in black and blue, baby hey. And I don't care, cause Shawty, you know my shoes, baby hey. It's nine, and my dick is two five I don't even fuck, I mean ten five, that's live <laughs> Yeah 
Big dick shout it, you know I'm what it is, man. I'm all the way retarded. I'm so stupid with it. Okay, I don't fall in love, I ain't cupid with it. Okay, I do my damn thing, you know I'm moving with it. I be moving and grooving, don't give a fuck. Got ten bitches, move line rouge, and they wanna get in my bed and they giving me head. Don't give a fuck, little mama. Know I'm about my bread. This is freestyle. I don't write shit. What you talking about, Shawty? I don't type shit. Don't you pipe shit. You get tight. Shorty right with it. Okay, this hot spit. Okay, I hot spit on knowing what it is. It's dark liquor got me growling. Fuck it, it just got me bowling. Rolling. I'm controlling. controlling. <laughs> Never controlling, knowing just what it is. I be moving slow motion. Every time that you see me, a pussy wetter than oceans. I don't give a fuck, baby. You know I'm a, in the ocean. Hey, Look, hey that's hey, right hey, here. Man, Space Party. Hey, hey, that shit was hey, crazy. Yeah, and, and, and ladies, my dick is not 2.5. Like I said, it's 10.5. Goddamn it. Oh, 10 point. Shit. You feel me? <laughs> I know that's a little too much information. But I slipped up But I'm freestyling But big dick shot Y'all just know What the fuck going on Let's get it man What yeah, else you got for yeah. me Maybe one more beat On some back to back shit Let's get it Oh on some back to back You know how he do Yeah we just yeah. We just warming up right now We got this one right here You probably heard about it Oh shit That's how you feeling Okay <laughs> Let's get it It's DC Q <laughs> DC Q We really okay. out here Look Look Shout it, holla at your boy. You know what it be though. Shout it, I'm taking off. I'm launching just like torpedoes. <laughs> Ain't nobody else better than. Yes, I'm a veteran. Yeah, I do my thing. I'm just meddling. I meddle in that pussy. I lick them thighs, knowing what it is. She like chicken, cause she rotates her rise. Oops, I mean tenderize. Tenderize. I mean, she moist with that shit. And yeah. I don't give a fuck. Her voice get hoarse in that shit. I yeah. mean, she deep throating. Okay, she choke on that shit. I don't know what it is. She said she feel all of it. Okay, I'm a freak, shouty. I ain't gotta explain what you mean. I'm your Superman. You my lowest lane. I'm hey. telling you, I just do my thing. <laughs> Ain't nothing, and I don't give a fuck, shorty. You know I ain't bluffing. These hoes, I ain't cuffing. <laughs> the fuck you talking about? Hold on, let's get it. Look, I'ma say it like this. Let's There's go. only five dudes that can do it better, like I. <laughs> and you already know that most of them try. I said five dudes. Let's see, let me get the five. Okay, okay, okay. I said five dudes. That's right, Ray, Blazy, Crazy, Alex, and even Paleon too. And you know what it is, Shouty. You know what, and I do. I'm beating that pussy, y'all, Shouty, till it's old, black, and blue. Okay, let's get it right. You know that that pussy tight. I'ma go and hit it and skirt off. Yeah, I bust her right back to the telly, baby. I don't give a fuck what you say. Go ahead and fall back like an old man's toupee. Ha. Huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my shit. Okay, hold on. Look, look, look. Hold on. I might have one more bar in that shit. Okay. Yeah, I like an old man's toupee. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, look, look, okay, all right. Huh. That nigga said that he better than I. Who? I believe that whenever elephants fly. <laughs> Fuck it. <yeah. laughs> I'm a hell of a guy. <laughs> yeah, and you ain't gotta ask why. You know it's space part. I'm loving it. They like fam. And every time I come in this bitch, I go ham. Yeah. And hitting your old lady from the back, she got down. And I don't know what it is, shouting the blam blam moment. You already know I'm good right now. I got my backpack, got the 40 on me right now. Yeah. When I go to OB, I don't get a pat down. Ay. Fuck around with the kid, it's gonna be a man down. Keep Let's rapping that shit. Hey, Space Pod TV, DJ yeah. Boy Q in the building. Yeah. Wait, the fuck you talking about? Hey, hey, hey. I'm your, I'm your host, Pale Invasion. We got Breeze on the mix, so share behind the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that being said, we out. We got appointments to do. Peace. Yeah. Ah, ah. And I brought this. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I brought y'all something, you know what I'm saying? A little shirt, you know what I'm saying? I will get more for hey, y'all. Yo. This hey, was last minute shit. Appreciate that shit. Yeah, sorry to, to cut in like nah, that. Nah, you but good. No, I appreciate it's all good. I love every one of y'all, and I wish that y'all bring me back. Please, please, please. Let's get you, it. That bro. way. Got you. That way, NTDC boy. Out. Let's get it. Peace. Yeah. Uh. Okay. In the 701, do it for the humans. I be on the comma, do it for the humans. And I'm making on buzz, do it for the humans. So I'm taking over, but they're making older. But then the 701, do it for the humans. I be on the comma, do it for the humans. And I'm making on buzz, do it for the humans. So I'm taking over, but they're making older.